Hi and welcome to our video explaining how you as a BPO administrator can use the widget configuration page to set up defaults for your users. The widget configuration page that I will be showing allows you to set defaults for columns that a user can see on their list page, the number of items that they can see per list in PPO and then on the right hand side you can see that I've got two donut chart widgets, one count by phase and one count by project manager that has been set up as a default. To get to the widget configuration page you hover over administration and go to widget configuration. This is the start of our widget journey so this page that I will be showing you on the right hand side will include more down the line but let's get into it. So on the left hand side you will see the list widget category with all the list pages within PPO. So these include projects and project related entities like issues and risks, non-project related entities like demand, as well as some or the admin pages within PPO like custom lists and business rules. So you have the ability to set up defaults for any of these that have been listed under the list widget. For this example, I'm going to select the project entity. So on this page here, you can see we've got a heading for columns. So this is where you set the columns or the fields that a user would see on their list page when they are logged into PPO. So I might, might want to remove the code field. I might want to get rid of the last updated date in the view. And I can even chop and change the sort order on this page. So I might want project manager just below the phase. So that's basically then the defaults that I've set for my columns. For the list page size, this is where you set the number of items that a user sees when on a list page before na having to navigate to a next page. So you might have a large portfolio of projects. I'm just, as an example, going to set this one to the max of 200. Then we get to our chart section. So this is where you set up our chart widgets, like the donut widgets that I had on the project list page. Yeah, I've got a count by phase that has already been set up and my count by project manager. I'm going to set up a new donut widget on the project list showing the number of projects by status. So I just click on the donut chart. We also have the ability to add a tree map. So adding my donut chart, I select my field. So I want to show a count of projects per status. You also do have other operators that you can use. I'm just going to scroll down. Now looking at the palettes that you can apply. So the default palette, this first one, let's say as an example, you have a color coded custom list. The status field that I've selected now is color coded. Then it would apply the color coding to your widget that you introduce on the list page. The second option that you have matches the skin that you have applied on your instance. So yeah, you can see the colors over here matches what we have applied as a skin. You also have the ability to uh, show percentages. I'm just going to click on add over here. I might even want to chop and change the sort order of these. So I'm going to put the count by status right at the top and then I'm going to submit. Going back to my project screen, You'll see the status has not been introduced yet. It's because the user has already fiddled with their preferences. So if I just click on the gear icon over here, as a user, I can restore to default. And yeah, you can see the count of status has been brought in. As mentioned earlier, the one that I selected, the palette, was to uh, take the default palette. So if I just introduce a column for status over here, as a user, I'm just going to drag and drop it next to phase and submit. You'll see that the count by status has inherited the colors that we have coded on our custom list over here. So just very important to note that a user has the ability to change the defaults that you have set as a PPO admin. So I'm just quickly going to demonstrate that so that you can manage any queried related 
to this when it comes from your user base. So I'm just going to click on a gear icon and this is our user basically has control over, over their own preferences. So I might not want the various percentage field over here. I might want to chop and change these two around and I might even just want to get rid of the count by project manager. So if I save this, you'll see that it basically then just shows me the count by phase and the count by status. So as mentioned, we will be adding more to the widget configuration page, like widgets for key statistics and bar charts. So please stay connected. Thanks for watching.